हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टेरॉइड्स इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द दिस इंट्रोडक्शन एंड अबाउट द नॉमिन ऑफ द स्टेरॉइड्स सो इन स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री वी विल सी द ऑप्टिकल आइसोमर्स एंड द ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमर्स ऑफ द स्टेरॉइड्स now if we see this basic steroidal ring then we have this basic steroidal ring containing four cyclic rings a b c d then how many how many optical isomers that we can see here how many optical isomers will be there so so number of optical isomers and then show us so how many chiral centers so for that we will see how many chiral centers are present so one of the chiral center this is not the chiral first second third fourth these are not the chiral one so this is one of the chiral center this is the another chiral center first second uh, this two chiral centers this is the next chiral center means chiral center carbon which is attached to four different substituents so 1 2 3 4 this is another chiral center and this one and this one so here in a basic steroidal ring basic steroidal ring it contains the six chiral center six chiral centers therefore number of optical isomers that will be equal to 2 to the power n or 2 to the power 6 this will be equal to 64 now if we take a cholestein or cholesterol or uh, this nucleus cholesterol nucleus we may take or better if we take a suppose a cholestein nucleus cholestein nucleus suppose this is our cholestein nucleus One and this is our cholesterol nucleus. And if what is the name of this one? This can be named as a five alpha cholesterol. This is fifth position. It has the hydrogen below. That is five alpha. Number of carbon atoms in this uh, ring. That is twenty seven carbon atoms are present. That's why it is five alpha cholestein. Five alpha cholestein. And if we see how many in this optical isomers would be there, so for this we will count the number of chiral carbons. So if we see this number of chiral carbons, then this is one of the chiral center which is attached to the different carbons. This is another first, second, third, fourth. Fifth, sixth, and this is the next seventh, eighth. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight chiral carbons are there. So this is not the chiral carbon. This is not the chiral carbon, and no one except this are the chiral carbon. So number of chiral carbon is uh, you can write. Six, not six. Eight chiral carbons are present. Eight chiral carbons are present. So therefore, two to the power eight that is equal to sixty-four, one twenty-eight, and two fifty-six. Two fifty-six isomers that would be there. Two fifty-six optical isomers that would be present here. Now, if we write in place of this, suppose I write the structure of cholesterol. Then this cholesterol that contains one of the double bond over here and one of the OH is present over here. Okay, so in that case, and uh, this will not the chiral center, but another chiral center, new chiral center which is generated is here. So this is the another chiral center which is generated. So again in cholesterol again the number of chiral centers that would be a and number of chiral centers are eight. And the total number of, of isomers, optical isomers, that will become the 256 in case of this cholesterol. 
Okay, so this is uh, about the optical isomers. Now, if we see the geometrical isomers, now let's see. geometrical isomers and we know that this we know that how many geometrical isomers are present and that is we name that is cis trans that is we see about the cis trans isomers in uh, steroids so if i take the cholesterol so if i write the structure of this cholesterol then in cholesterol we know that of the carbon over here and here. So, fifth carbon, what I told you, the fifth carbon is the very important uh, stereochemical center. So, fifth carbon is the important one. So, here if I write the fifth carbon, that is I mean fifth uh, over fifth carbon, the hydrogen is present below the rings. Then, in this case, if we write then, and then this nucleus, this is our nucleus A, this is B, C, and D. Now, here this A and B, they are fused at which carbon center? That is uh, at this fifth carbon and this is the tenth carbon. So fifth and tenth carbon, they are uh, they are the fusion point of A and B. So suppose I write this number one, six, two, three, four. This is our fifth carbon. Sixth, seventh. This is eighth. This is ninth, tenth. And now eleven. This is twelve. Thirteenth. Fourteenth. Fifteenth. Sixteenth. Seventeenth. Eighth. 18, this is 19, this is our 20th carbon, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26th carbon. Okay, so if you see, then AB are fused, AB are fused, okay, so AB are fused, this AB, so what I name it, first of all I name it 5-alpha polystyrene. This is 5 alpha polystyrene, and here A, B are the one of the fusion points. How many fusion points are there? If you see the fusion points, fusion, A, B, A, B are one of the fusion center or fusion centers. Okay. You write fusion centers. So, A, B are the fusion center which are uh, trans to each other because this is above, this is below. So this is trans. A B fusion center is trans. In the same way, if I see this B, this one, this is B. Here, this hydrogen is present above the ring. Now I am removing this A B C D. So here, hydrogen is present here above the ring, or here this is present below the ring. In the same way, here C S three is present above, where hydrogen is present below. Okay. Now, if you will see, then about B and C, the ring number B and C, B and C, if you will see here, this is ring B, this is ring C. So, at ring B and C, the two hydrogens, one hydrogen is above and another hydrogen is below. This is another fusion center. One hydrogen is below, another hydrogen is above. So, again, this is trans. Again, this is B and C center is fusion center is the trans one. In the same way, if we see this one and this one, that is ring C and D, here this methyl is above and hydrogen is below. So again, we may write it uh, this uh, C and D. This is again trans. So this uh, five alpha polystyrene. Five alpha polystyrene is trans 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 5 alpha polystyrene is trans trans and trans okay now but here is cyclohexane if we if we write this cyclohexane in this way then this is not the stable one so 
to get the stable structure we should mention it in a chair form so let's mention it in a chair form this can be written in a chair form like this suppose this is our suppose this is ring b suppose this is ring b and this is our ring a this is ring a and next ring is <coughs> Now, so this is ring A, B, C, D. Ring A, B, C, D. Now, uh, if uh, uh, I show the stereochemistry over here, <coughs> then uh, this two at this is the our first carbon. This is first. This is second, third, fourth, fifth, and this is our tenth carbon. So at this fifth carbon, hydrogen is below, and at tenth carbon, this hydrogen is above. Okay. Now again at 9th and 10th, so 9th and 10th, this, suppose this is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th. So this is 8th one, this is 9th one. So at 8th carbon, we will see that at 8th carbon this hydrogen is above. So hydrogen is above, here the hydrogen is below. So here if you see the hydrogen is below, here if you will see the hydrogen that would be here the hydrogen is above okay in the same way next fusion point so this is the uh, first fusion point and next fusion point this is the uh, next fusion point is our this is the next fusion point that is between C and D. So between C and D at 13th carbon, this is our carbon number 13th. At this 13th carbon, hydrogen is above and at 14th carbon, this hydrogen is down. Okay. <coughs> so this is uh, a chair form of uh, this structure. So this chair form, this is a transform, as, as you can see, this is a transform and this is a stable chair form. And this is also trans, trans and trans, 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 trans and it is the 5 alpha polystyrene again. So if I write, then this is our nucleus, this is our A, this is B, this is C, this is D, like this we can mention. <coughs> Now, so what I told you, this uh, fifth position is the our main position. So if, if I write, then five is the alpha one. Five is alpha. Five one is the alpha. Five alpha. Then if I write this ten, ten is beta, and then nine. Suppose I write first nine, then nine alpha. This is ninth one. This is tenth is beta. Tenth is beta. And after this tenth, then if I <coughs> write, then uh, this is next fusion point is. This is our next fusion point. So this fourteenth uh, is alpha. Fourteenth alpha, and this thirteenth is beta. Let me write again. Let me write again. So five alpha. So better to only write five alpha polystyrene. Hmm. Otherwise five alpha polystyrene. Because this fifth position is the main position. Fifth is the main position, and uh, uh, rest of the uh, centers that remain same. The stereochemistry of the rest of the centers remain same. Now. Let's let me write the uh, beta. So if I write here the beta now this is this is now this becomes the five beta. This now becomes five beta polystyrene, and these uh, at A and B they are fused in a cis way because 
both this hydrogen, both this, this is CS3 and hydrogen are on the same side, both are above. That's why this is, this becomes the cis trans and trans means AB, ring AB are fused in a cis manner. B and C are fusion trans manner and C and D are also fusion trans manner. That's why it may be written uh, 5 beta polystyrene and this is the stereochemistry is cis trans trans over the fusion centers. Now if I write now if I write the chair form of is 5 beta polystyrene. If I write the chair form then how we will write it. So let me first draw the ring P. So this is ring P. So B, C, D that remains same. B, C, D that remains same. So this is our B and this will be this is half chair. This P is half chair and now here at fifth position okay this is suppose fifth position and this is the tenth position this is our uh, sorry this is tenth position now so if i write at fifth position the hydrogen is above at fifth position the hydrogen is shown above so this hydrogen is shown above this hydrogen is above and at 10th carbon, this CH3 is above. 10th carbon also the CH3 is above. So this is the equatorial point. This is the axial one. So this is the CH3. Now, so how we can write it? So we may draw like this. Okay, so here what I have shown these two hydrogens this uh, hydrogen and methyl group both are above so this is axial methyl and this is the uh, equatorial hydrogen so this would be the uh, chair form for 5 beta polystyrene and other uh, centers that we may write here this is below this hydrogen is below here this hydrogen is above and here this one at ring D and means uh, here This is the CS3. This would be the CS3 center, and this is also CS3. This is also CS3. Okay, so here if you see this one is the CS3, and here this is our hydrogen. Okay, so this is the a chair form for 5 beta polystyrene. 5 beta polystyrene.